Hi, Mike Avalar from Avalar Home Inspection Inc. Thank you for joining me today. I am going to be talking about service entrance conductors. I'm picking up where I left off from my last video. And today I'm going to give you a description of what a service drop typically is responsible for. Uh, the overhead service drop is typically the responsibility of the utility company. Wires that connect the service entrance conductors, which are the responsibility of the homeowner. So the wires from the post to your mast to the meter and then from the meter, that's where the homeowner owns that part. So you're not responsible for the meter to the post. Service entry conductors are typically in a metal or plastic conduit that runs down the outside of the building. Conduits protects the wires from mechanical damage and moisture. Some homes have a service entry cable rather than a conduit. A drip loop prevents water from entering the service conduit. The service wires from a loop below the service head which allows the water to drip off the wire instead of leak into the service conduit. As we can see here, we have a service mast with uh, conduits coming in from the post. We have two black wires and one white wire. The two black wires are two 120 volt wires each, can be combined for 240 volts. And down the side of the building we see that we have our meter and meter box. And you can see that there's a little bit of staining happening right here, and this is happening when it's raining, and this is starting to uh, corrode the, uh, the steel. However, the mast is in excellent condition. We have our drip loops, which will keep water out of the mast. And we do have a uh, screw here that is rusting. However, this is not a major issue. This screw has been here since uh, 1982. Remember, the service drop has to be at least 12 feet above the ground. On tall buildings, the service is connected to the side of the building. On short buildings, they have a mast. The service entry conductors form a drip loop and then enter a conduit that runs down the side of the building. The service conduit carries the service entry conductors through the electrical meter so we can pay for our electricity. Meters are typically on the outside of the home, close to the front of the building to facilitate meter reading by representatives. Modern systems have eliminated the need for people coming to your home and reading the meter. It's all wireless now. Once inside the building, the conduit must be kept as short as possible, ideally going straight into the box. This avoids exposing the conduit to mechanical damage. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.